Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at macOS Sequoia version 15.6, released by Apple on July 29th, 2025. The update is already available for all users, and if you haven't hit that update button yet, now's the perfect time to see what's inside. At the time of download, the update was about 2.84 gigabytes, not the biggest, but definitely not small, especially for the final Sequoia release before macOS Tahoe arrives. This update was released alongside several others from Apple. On the same day, we got iOS 7.6, iPadOS 7.6, WatchOS 10.6, tvOS 7.6, and VisionOS 1.2. After installing, you'll get macOS 15.6 with build number 24G84. The firmware was also updated. If you're tracking system stability or working in development, this info might come in handy. The most important change in this update is a bug fix related to restoring devices in DFU mode using Finder or Apple Configurator. Previously, trying to restore an iPhone or iPad through a Mac could cause the device to fail or even become bricked. Now, that process should work reliably without issues. This is especially important for service technicians and anyone who frequently resets devices. The update includes over 80 security patches. Many of them address critical vulnerabilities. You can find the full list of CVEs on Apple's website. Definitely worth a look if you work in IT or cybersecurity. Even though there are no new visual features, Apple did update several built-in apps. Safari, 18.6, Notes, 4.12.7, Music, 1.56, Passwords, 1.6, TV and Stocks, 1.5.6 and 7.4 respectively. Books, 7.6. The updates aren't major, but they improve compatibility and security. Performance and bugs. On my Mac with the M4 chip, everything runs smoothly. No crashes, no slowdowns, no errors. Final Cut Pro, Xcode, Logic Pro, all launch quickly and without any surprises. According to user feedback on Reddit and the Mac Rumors forums, the update feels solid and stable. However, some users have reported an issue with the Clear All button in Notification Center. Sometimes notifications don't disappear even after tapping it. As for battery life, there's pretty much no change. No reports of faster drain after installing 15.6. I used my MacBook all day, editing video and browsing, and still had over 40% left by evening. Performance feels about the same as version 15.5. Should you update? If you're hoping for new features, there aren't any in 15.6. But if you care about security, stability, and making sure your Mac can reliably restore devices in DFU mode, this update is a must. It also looks like this is the final stable release of Sequoia before macOS Tahoe arrives, so it's important to have everything running smoothly. So, macOS Sequoia 15.6 fixes a critical DFU restore bug, patches over 80 security vulnerabilities, updates built-in apps, improves overall system stability, doesn't introduce any new features. If you've already updated, let us know how it's working for you. Any bugs? Better performance? Share your experience in the comments. And if you haven't updated yet, just head to System Settings and click Update. This one is definitely worth it.